Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby. What is good? What is poppin'? Welcome back. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you want to. So as you read from the title, today we are going to be making some tea latte drinks. I don't know. Basically, the pretty patty versions of lattes. We're gonna do like a yellow one, a pink one, a purple one, a green one. So yeah, basically today we're just gonna make some pretty lattes. Also, these ones are like healthy for you. So, you know, new year, new me. What can I say? Also, it is 1018 at night. I feel like that one episode of Spongebob where he's like I'm working in the kitchen I don't know why this uh, video is just turned into a big Spongebob reference. Without further ado, let's get started with this. All right, before we get into it, for real, for real, I want to thank Bodum for sending me a bunch of coffee gear. Basically, they helped me step up my coffee game so much more. I be at home making bomb lattes now. They sent me this electric kettle, which honestly, the design is just like, they sent me this milk frother, which is like a French press, but it's not a French press, it's a milk frother. This has stepped up my latte game from like here to like easily like up there. They also sent me this pour over contraption. Again, the design is beautiful. Um, I won't lie, I am afraid to use it because it is glass, but it seems to be pretty durable because I haven't broken it yet. So yeah, I love this thing. They also sent me two of these beautiful double wall glass cups, which I'm also afraid of, but I will not drink a latte out of anything else anymore. And I think this is the best thing I've ever received. A coffee bean grinder. I no longer have to grind coffee beans in a Ziploc bag with a hammer. There's coffee grounds in this still because I can't stop using it because I can't stop making coffee now that I have all this fun stuff to make coffee with. I don't know, now I just feel like a true at home barista. Like now I got all the gear, like it took me long enough. But yes, once again, thank you so much Bodum for all this cool stuff. I will link their site in the description and you guys can check it out if you want any products. Because You're gonna need all of that. All right, I'm gonna start with the most wild one because you're probably gonna see this and be like, ew, why, Abby? You're good, I know, it sounds nasty. Okay, hear me out. Beets and mushrooms. <laughs> all right, this is what it looks like. It's basically just like a powder. It contains beets, pomegranate, uh, cordyceps. Cordyceps? I thought those were in your body lion's mane, maca. So it's just full of things that are really good for you. Basically, this is kind of like matcha, but not like matcha at all. Also, I'd like to announce that I have not been drinking that much coffee lately. I've been drinking like maybe three cups a day and that's it. So, I don't know, times are changing. So yeah, the first thing we are going to start off making is the beet and mushroom latte. I should not call it that. You won't beet leave how good this is. I don't know, I'm trying to do some kind of Bob's Burgers-esque thing. But I found this powder at Walmart, but you can get it like really anywhere. Um, if I found it at Walmart, you know it's pretty easily accessible. And all you're really gonna need for this is some kind of milk. I would recommend a non-dairy milk. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get yourself a little container of some sort. We are going to put uh, about a tablespoon in here. <laughs> And to that powder, just add like a tablespoon or so of water. Spill half of it on the ground while you're at it. Oh, I just keep spilling it on the ground. I'm just gonna use my tiny whisk here and mix this together until it's like fairly smooth consistency. This would probably work a lot better if you had one of those like electric milk frother things. Actually, I have one from Bodum um, that I bought a while ago, but I stepped on it and broke it, so. <laughs> Alrighty, so once you have that all smooth or whatever, just grab your cup, put some milk in your cup, and then fill it up with ice. It kind of looks like blood, honestly, now that I'm looking at it. Kind of terrifying, actually. Oops. <laughs> But yeah, here's the first latte. Um, if I spill this any more, I swear to God. But then again, it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't make the biggest mess possible. Oh my God, it's so good. I cannot express to you how good it is. You would think by the ingredients that it wouldn't be good. It has like the perfect amount of natural sweetness. Like I didn't add any sugar or anything to this. This is hands down better than like a matcha. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a hot pink red situation. Oh God, I'm like, I like going through puberty. <laughs> My voice is so weird right now. So yeah, this is the beet and mushroom latte, which sounds vile. It is 
10 out of 10. This is probably my favorite one that we're gonna make at all today. All right, so continuing with the pink theme, we are going to make a rose latte. And this one's really easy because you really just need the rose pink latte mix. I got this baby at Kroger or um, basically you could probably find it anywhere. You know, the internet is a crazy place. You can get anything. I'll just tell you right now. I'm not the biggest fan of like floral flavors. I'm not a fan of lavender, not the biggest fan of rose, but this one is pretty good. I'm gonna make this one hot just because, I don't know. Actually, it seems really gross hot. Uh, oh well, we're gonna do it anyways. Send it. So I poured my milk into this mug and I'm just gonna microwave it for like yeah, a minute and a half. I don't know. While that's doing that, I am going to take my milk frother thing and go warm it up in the sink with hot water. Because I've learned the hard way that if you pour hot liquid into a cold glass, good luck Charlie. I'm just gonna pour a good amount of milk into there. And then into my frothing container, we are gonna pour some milk in. She needs some milk. So we have this pink mixture here. Of course I can't do anything right so I filled it up past the max line. I'm sure it'll be okay. And all you do with this is you just do this. It's come to my attention that my milk barely warmed up in the microwave at all. So we are going to switch gears and make this an iced one again. <laughs> And as you can see, the milk doubled in size. This milk frother works so bomb. So now I'm just going to pour that on top there. And then boom, we've got ourselves a cute little layered pink latte. I don't know if you guys can see this because I don't want to spill this drink. We've got a cute little swirl going on on top with the extra beaten mushroom mixture. Now I didn't add any extra sweetener or anything to this because the rose latte mix was already kind of sweet. Um, but if you do like drinks to be a little bit sweeter, add that. Let's give her a taste. It's not as good as the beet one, I will say that much. Not the biggest fan of rose anything. But if you are, here you go. All right, moving swiftly along to the next pretty latte, we're going to make a matcha, which I know I've made a couple matcha drinks before, but this one is unlike any other. Why? I don't know. I wasn't going to make a matcha one, but I posted like a picture of my matcha latte on Instagram, and a bunch of people replied to the story and was like, please make a matcha latte on your channel. So I'm like, sure. Let's do it. We are going to make an iced one because I just prefer iced matcha lattes over cold ones. I'm not going to use the regular almond milk here for the matcha one because if you use something like oat milk or like a whole milk or something, the milk just comes out a lot silkier. I don't know why I have to smell everything. Uh, so we are just going to add this into the milk frother. I'm using a regular unsweetened matcha. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. Because if you get a sweetened matcha, you're not going to really have to add any sweetener. But if you don't get a sweetened matcha and you don't add sweetener, it's going to taste like you're eating a bush. So I'm going to add one tablespoon and then we're going to whisk it together with my tiny whisk. I have been watching a lot of Binging with Babish and I'm just really happy that we both have a love for tiny whisk. Also, if you have like a traditional like matcha mixing thing like the matcha whisk and everything, yeah, you should use that. But um, I don't have that, obviously. <laughs> it's mixed enough, you know. You did not come to my channel for perfection, and if you did, I'm so sorry, because that's not what you're gonna get. Okay, so I know I said I was making an iced one, and I am, but I'm going to throw this milk with the matcha in the microwave before I froth it, because if you do that, some science about the, the proteins or something, some, Science, the milk will froth better if it's hot. Hold your hand while dancing, never leave you stranded. Latte spilt on the floor, matcha powder over the counter. I lost all my milk caps, champagne problems. Ah! That was hot. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Sorry. And then we are just going to froth away. Oh my god, what's a thick boy? <laughs> Alright, the matcha has frothed up, so I'm just gonna add a bunch of ice to the cup. Um, my ice is now half melted because I've been letting it sit out here for like a good 20 minutes. And now I'm out of ice, so that was the last ice drink we're gonna make. I swear, one day when I move out and I have a house that has an ice maker in the fridge, it is over for you bitches. Okay, she's beauty, she's grace, but she is bitter. That's usually how people describe me. This matcha latte does not have any sweetener in it at all. 
So we're just gonna add some honey because I feel like matcha and honey just complement each other so well. I hate when I watch these videos back to edit them and I realize that I smell everything that I pick up. Give this a drizz drizz. Uh, a pretty healthy drizzle, I'd say. Um, cool, we're gonna spill it, nice. You can use any type of sweetener, but I just prefer honey. Yeah, mixing honey into an iced beverage is quite the quest. But yeah, that's how I make a good tasting matcha latte. It really just comes down to like the kind of milk you use, and also the kind of matcha. So yeah, there's that, that's my matcha recipe. Don't feed honey to babies one year or younger. Why can't babies have honey? Oh my God. I am so glad I do not have children. <laughs> I could not think of the worst candidate to have a child than me. All right, we're getting close to the end here, but one of the last, but certainly not the least. One of my favorite things of all time is a turmeric latte. And this one is best enjoyed hot, so that's what we're gonna do today. I am going to fill up my cup with half milk and the other half, some of this Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. Gosh, I said Oregon in one video and I got roasted in the comments. So, Western Coast state that starts with an L. Oh! Um. All right, minor setback. We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna ignore that that happened. I feel like for these recipes, non-dairy milk just works the best. Like, it just tastes good. We're gonna toss this in the microwave because we're lazy. But you can also put it on the stove, put it in a little pan. Do what you gotta do. I can't believe you've done this. It's just really, that hurt my feelings. I won't lie. Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated! After hours. That's how I feel when I film a video at nighttime. We have a little bit of that foam on top. Beautiful. It's a lovely shade of yellow. Gorgeous. And we could stop there, but we're not going to. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your mail and pick a bill that you don't wanna pay or some kind of credit card company that's trying to get you to sign up. For me, I'm just gonna be using this Healthy Michigan Plan Handbook. Guys, honestly, I'm sorry about the mess, but really, you're on my channel, what did you expect? So to spice this up, because this is just too plain, we have cinnamon and ginger, and we are going to hover your piece of paper or whatever you have um, over the latte so that it creates like a line and sprinkle on your seasoning. I've just sprinkled way too much cinnamon. We're gonna do a line of ginger on the other side. Not too much ginger, but as you can see, we have this lovely turmeric latte. All right, I'm getting a little too carried away with that. I'm gonna drink that one after I'm done filming this video. All right, now lastly, we are gonna make a coffee drink and it's not even like a pretty one. I thought I would just add this one because I've been drinking this latte quite often and it is a chocolate oat milk latte. It's simple, but it's, it's effective. All right, so before I started this video, I prepared some strong coffee in this pour over and I chilled it in the refrigerator um, because I was going to make an iced latte, but I have since run out of ice, so. <laughs> But also, I got myself a mocha pot, and if you don't know what that is, it's like a stovetop espresso maker. That is also really bomb for making espresso, if you guys are interested. We are just going to put a caramel drizzle around the edge of the cup. We're gonna fill it like halfway with chocolate oat milk. This stuff is nuts. It is so good. And then fill up the rest of the cup with your coffee or espresso that you've made. Can we talk about it? All right, and here we have it, a caramel mocha. Pretty classic, honestly. But I think if you make it with like a chocolate milk, especially chocolate oat milk, it takes it to the next level. All right, guys, so those are all the drinks we're gonna be making today. This was a little bit of a disaster, but I feel like that fits right in with my brand. If you guys make any of these drinks, don't forget to tag me in them on Instagram. My Instagram is at abbylucia. Um, also follow me if you wanna see my face. I don't know what else to say. I think that's all I have. Oh God, it's like midnight now. I'm gonna have to like clean my kitchen and I'm just like. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to subscribe. That goes without saying, but uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe you forgot that subscribing was a thing. As always in the comments, leave down some video suggestions that you would like to see. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.